Hey guys, this is Kathy and Brian, and this is the Main Street Moments and Beyond podcast. Thank you for listening. Welcome to all our regular listeners and any new listeners. We really appreciate you guys being here. We're going to jump right into it. Disney has announced a lot of things today, a lot of news coming out if you read the Disney blogs like we do. So much stuff, and the first thing we want to talk about is the step-by-step process. It's on Blog Mickey. You can see it right here on how the new Disney Park Pass reservation system will work. Now, before I say that, real quick, the park um, has announced that reservations will start Monday the 22nd. And the 22nd is for people who have an existing hotel reservation on property. They get first dibs. Oh. And then on the 26th, which is next Friday, annual pass holders who do not have a hotel reservation can make reservations. And you have to make sure before any of this happens that your hotel reservation and your annual pass are linked to your account in the app. You have to make sure your passes are linked. So if you have a family account, make sure everybody's pass is linked to that account before you make reservations because that's how it's going to go. Well, it sounds like a lot of work. But it's worth it to go to Walt no, Disney World. We're going to break it down for okay. you. Okay. Well, All Blog right. Mickey's breaking it down, and we're going to talk about it. Yeah. Okay, so it says right here, step one, and you can read as we go. Um, and it's going to talk about what I said. First, you'll need a Disney account, which is where your Disney World plans are stored and managed. So if you don't have an existing account, make sure you get one. Then you have to link your ticket or your annual pass to the account, and it'll talk you through that. All guests in your party must have valid park admission linked to this profile. At this time, new ticket sales are temporarily paused and sales will resume at a later date. I called Disney today. They're not taking any hotel reservations. They're not taking any ticket res- nothing. They're, they, she told me they have put a pause on any new sales of any kind. So this is for people who have bought a ticket in the past um, and they've been holding on to it or have a hotel reservation that they made months ago or a year ago and they still have it. Um, If you have a Disney Resort Hotel reservation, be sure to link that to your Disney account as well. So you need to have an account on the app, link your tickets, link your reservation. That's the first step. Okay, the second step, I'll let Brian go through this. Okay, so this is step two. And again, this is on blogmickey.com. they got a lot of good information. So this is step two, create your party. When you begin to make a reservation, you'll be prompted to create your party from your family and friends list. Simply select the family and friends you would like to include. And don't select the ones you don't want to come with you. Then select continue. Don't see someone in your travel party. Select add a guest to include them. Note, you may need to make more than one Disney Park reservation for your party depending on your admission type. Please make sure your party consists of annual pass holders or theme park ticket holders. Staying in a Disney resort or other select hotel with a package that includes tickets, everyone in your party must also have a hotel reservation. If this varies, you will need to make separate Disney Park Pass reservations. So this means everyone in your party needs to be registered with the hotel. If they're right. not, you're out of luck. Well, or they're on their own. They would have to make a separate reservation outside yeah. of your account yeah. to do that. So you want to. Be, there's a lot of new rules here. You want to familiarize yourself with this to make sure you do everything properly. Everything with Disney is like a lot of planning, so nothing has changed. Now it's even more planning. And Disney yeah. vacation always took so much time yeah. to plan. Now it's they're making it even harder. Okay. Yeah. So step three is you're gonna select a date and park. Now I did read an article that said each person will be allowed to reserve two days, but it's a separate park for each day. You cannot park hop. We talked about that before. So you can reserve two days at a time. Mm. So say you're going up there for the weekend, you can do that. Or say like Brian wants to reserve on the 11th. And then I think if you want to reserve a week or two later, you can do that, but you can reserve two days at once. Just keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. Okay. Choose the date and the theme park that you would like to visit from the available reservations. Please note that dates and theme park selections are limited and subject to availability. After creating your party in the Disney park pass system, you will be prompted to select a date They're going to give you a calendar to choose one of the available dates, select a theme park, park hours will be displayed for your convenience, and select a time. Now, this is interesting. I hadn't thought about this when we talked about this before, if they're going to give you a time frame to come. So this might make you think that they're going to give you some kind of a time window. This is the time 
that which you can is, visit the which park. Which is what they, nine to three or yeah, three which, to nine. Which or, they did at Galaxy's Edge in the early days. They okay. had the boarding pass system at Galaxy's Edge. So it looks like time is going to be a factor because not only are you choosing your day, you're choosing your park. Yeah. And a time window. So that is interesting. Of course, keep in mind, Disney tickets have not gone down in price yet. Yeah, you're so still paying the same amount of money with no parades, no fireworks. Now you're on a time limit. Yeah. You have to wear masks. So, But, you know, the benefit will be, hopefully, this sounds like a mess to me. I mean, there's a lot of things going in here. But the benefit to all this will be there will be fewer people in the parks. It'll be like being at an after hours yeah, event. Yeah, be well. Hopefully, in theory. Maybe even less. And thank God they have all this technology because I don't know how they would have managed this back in the day. Okay, um, step four, you go ahead and read that. Okay, now step four, again, this is all on blogmickey.com. Step four, review and confirm your plans. Carefully review and confirm your selected park and date. And I'll tell you, that's a big deal because you may have seen this on one of our earlier vlogs. I had. My fast pass is set up for the day. I got there and uh, found out I had passes on all the rides, fast passes, but for another yeah, month. Yeah, that was my fault. For another month. And when I got up there, you know, in this situation, if you have the date wrong, you're going to, they're, they're yeah. not going to work with you're you. You're going to go, all, that's right. You're going to go all the so, way there. Yeah. And if you have the wrong date, you're screwed. All I basically. had to do was wait in line. You're not going to be able to right. do that. They didn't throw you out of the park. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> if you no. Know, if you need to make any changes, select back to revise your selections. Before confirming, you'll need to agree to the terms of service, including the COVID-19 liability waiver. Oh. Then select confirm to complete your park reservations. You're going to see a lot of these waivers so, going around. Yeah, and you know, I've had to sign waivers in places. Yeah. You know, so that's a that's you don't a want new it, thing. Then don't go. Yeah. Once confirmed, your reservation will appear in my plans. Want to make another park reservation? Select make another okay. reservation. You get two. Yeah, to continue planning. As a reminder, if you have a multi-day ticket, you will be required to make a park reservation for each date of your visit. Oh my your goodness. Your new reservation or reservations will appear on my plans, both online and on the My Disney Experience app. If you need to cancel a reservation, view your daily itinerary in my plans, then select reservation details. You're all set. Get ready to experience the magic of a Walt Disney World theme park. Oh boy. So what if you what have what if you're I'm there already for, tired? I know. What if you're there for a week, but you can only book two days at a time? And then you're there, and so how does it work? If you can only book two days at a time, you have to go those days before you can rebook again. You can't you can't sign out and sign back in and book two more days. No, I'm assuming. So say you book your two days and you're there for a week, you have to wait till you finish those days, and then you can rebook. And then what if you don't get in? You it's, know, it's, I, it's a gamble. I don't know. I, maybe Flo over here, Progressive, can help. Maybe Flo. <laughs> okay, we'll ask Flo. Then the important details: reservations are limited and subject to availability and are not guaranteed until a reservation is finalized. So make sure you take a screenshot. It'll be in your plans, but just take a screenshot just in case you never know. At this time, guests will be able to select one park per day. Visiting more than one park per day will be temporarily unavailable upon the reopening of the theme parks due to attendance limitations. A park reservation must be made for each day of entry. If you have a multi-day ticket, you will be required to make a reservation for each day you visit. We highly recommend that you make your park reservation as soon as you complete your ticket purchase as availability can change until the reservation is finalized. So Blog Mickey is one of my favorite blogs. They have a lot of good stuff. So here's yeah. the deal. If you have a hotel reservation, and it has to be existing because they are not taking hotel reservations right now. I have tried. I called. I've yeah. looked online. Zip. So if you have an existing reservation... You can start booking your reservation on Monday the 22nd. Mm -hmm. Annual pass holders without a hotel reservation can start booking on Friday the 26th. Mm -hmm. um, and then there's a later date after that for anybody else with new tickets. I can't remember, but I yeah. think it's like the following yeah. week. So that's what you need to know about that. So go to Blog Mickey, and I can put the link in this podcast description so you can read it for yourself. And go through it, and I, I just can hope tell you, enough. I will be on the app the twenty sixth at midnight. Yeah, I just hope that those guests and hotels don't take all the reservations because we don't know how many people they're going to let in the park. We don't know how many yeah. people are going to be in the hotels. Well, I so. don't think so because these are pre existing hotel reservations that were made already, and a lot of people cancel their trips. A lot of people, so I would imagine, and they're not they're not booking any because I was trying to book you a room. Well, to the get DVCs in are going to be open. So, you know, those that so that's we're not factoring that in. So, that's those, true. you know, so they'll, yeah, I didn't knows? hear anything about DVCs. Yeah. And when and if they get preference, 
over us. Yeah. All right, so let's go to what else is going on um, in the Disney news while we're here. Disney is discontinuing complimentary magic bands for resort guests in 20 – this starts January 2021. Okay, so let me, let me guess what's going on. They're not discontinuing magic bands. No, no, They're just no. discontinuing the free ones the free when ones. you check into a hotel. That's right. So you just will be buying them at all times now. You can still buy them. They, they'll they sell them to you at a discount. Yeah, I wonder what that's I think be. that's a huge mistake. Um, this is one of those perks. I mean, how much can it cost to make a band? can't be more than a dollar. Um, so, you know, and the, the hotels are not cheap. Um, that's one of the perks and one of the exciting things about staying on Disney property is you get those magic bands in the mail. You can still get them, but now you got to pay for them at a discounted price. So they're like $10.00. But it's still, I think that's a mistake to do that, to, yeah. to cancel that. And I also read that they're going to be relying more on people's smartphones um, for the Magic Band technology through the app where you will pay and use your smartphone well, instead you know of what? a Magic Band. Well, you know what? The Magic Band. Or in lieu of. Okay. Now, we're, we're annual pass holders, so we don't just have Magic Bands. We have an annual pass holder card. And the annual pass holder card, you can scan it on everything, just like a Magic Band. I'm not a big fan of the Magic Bands because... I have my Apple Watch on, and that's I, what they're going to try to use. And, I read, and I can't. It, it's I don't like wearing my Apple Watch and my Magic Band, and and then I know like you have one of these. A lot of people like you, you have this, have this thing that you can put the the little round part of the Magic Band into this thing that goes on the band of your Apple Watch, and that's too big and awkward. Yeah. So I I, I would like to be able to use my. They're going to start phasing into that. I read an article where Disney is trying to phase into using your smartphone or your Apple Watch in lieu of or in, in place of your Magic Band. You can still buy the Magic Bands, but um, I don't know if they're phasing them out slowly. I think they'll always be there. You can still use them, but they want people. I don't know why. I thought Magic Bands were very lucrative for them. It seems um, to me that Disney should be partnering up with Apple and I think Android are. and have devices that you could – like, for example – That's what they're doing. If, That's what they're trying well, to do. If, if I could buy – like, when I buy a new Apple Watch, if I could buy it where it already had something in it to mm -hmm. use at Disney in lieu of my Magic yeah, Band. Yeah, like an app. Yeah, that was, like, into built it. into the watch yeah. where I don't have to, like, open up an app and go in where I can just I – would, I, would, I would go out and buy a new Apple Watch just for well, that. Well, now you can check in – to a hotel using your smartphone. Yeah. It's really cool. You hold the phone up to the door, and you hear the little Tinkerbell pixie Yeah, dust. we did that. We did that yeah. at the Coronado, yeah. and it was really cool. So Disney is trying to phase into where you use your smartphone in place of your Magic Band, but at the same time, they want you to still buy Magic Bands. It's really Yeah, confusing. and there's a big problem with that, too. How many of you, you're at the park all day, and your phone goes dead? True, exactly. It happens all so, the time. I like having a Magic Band, but if they can connect it to my smartwatch, that'd be cool too. But I always liked Magic Bands. I, I have a few. I have about 10. I like collecting them. So they're still going to sell them, but I think not offering the free Magic Bands when you reserve a hotel is a huge mistake that Disney's making. I don't like it. I don't think it's a good idea. Okay, this is sad, but not totally surprising. The Mickey's Halloween Boo to You Parade, which is Mickey's Halloween party is my favorite thing at Disney World. I love it. I haven't been in a long time, but I watch a lot of videos. Um, it is, to me, the best parade. It's the best party. You get free candy. It's it's freaking awesome. They're canceling it this year. It's canceled, and they're going to have to refund everybody. That's a lot of money because you know they though? sold a lot of this tickets. This one I don't get, and I know everyone's saying, well, it's because they hand out candy. Yeah. Okay. Well, in the crowd. Um, well, they, they can have a limited crowd like everything else, but the thing about the candy is they're going to have – Restaurants open and quick service, you know, restaurants open. Why not just have the candy in a bag? You go up to a quick service and they give it to you. I don't think it's just about the candy, though. I think it's about they're, they're not having shows. They're not having nighttime oh, shows. And the character They're meets. not having the – well, at the, at the Halloween party, they have fireworks. They have a parade. They have a nighttime show. Yeah. That's what you're paying to see because you can go on the rides anytime. They, they offer these live shows that people crowd in around the castle yeah. at night. How can yeah. you control that? I mean, yeah. you can limit the crowds, but everybody will condense in that yeah. one spot. Now, this one is a big one for a lot of people. Yeah. You know? This and, is another thing yeah. I love to do at Disney. Yeah, I don't do it too much, but it is something that I do to make it easier to get into the Magic Kingdom when I get on the resort monorail, which I don't know if I'll be able to do that unless I'm in a resort hotel now, but they're eliminating 
resort hopping, which is that's a huge thing. People go to Disney World just to resort hop. Yeah, I let they so they have no park hopping. No resort hopping. So it says we're less than a month away from the reopening theme parks and select resort hotels. Disney, blah, blah, blah. They want you to be healthy. Following the lead of Shanghai Disney and with the success of the reopening of Disney Springs, the resort has been gearing up. Okay, let's get to the nitty gritty of this. Among the updates, we learned that in order to continue the efforts of controlled guest capacity and to aid in proper social distancing, day guests or guests that want to visit the hotel hotels must have a dining reservation gone are the days of meandering a disney resort hotel just to visit now if you want to visit one of the resort hotel properties you must plan on dining at table service or a sit-down restaurant and have a reservation locked in to do so so we would like if you're staying on property a lot of people will hop on the bus yeah. or on the monorail or whatever, the gondola now, and they'll just go from resort to resort and look around, look through the shops, eat at the food court, whatever. And you don't need a reservation to really do that. You can just – some hotels won't let you park there unless you have a reservation, but if you're taking the Disney bus, you can go wherever you want. Yeah. Now you have to have a sit-down dining reservation to get into that hotel. Now, this doesn't period. tell us one piece of information because there's a bit of a trick to this, okay? A lot of times, if you want to, for example, park at the Contemporary and walk to Magic Kingdom, which I like to do because when the park closes, it's mm -hmm. easier to get back to the Contemporary than get back yeah, so to we'll the Contemporary. So we'll make a reservation at the Contemporary, eat, and then go. Well, you don't, yeah, but there's, they had, now this is something a lot of people do, okay? You would make a reservation. If you don't show up to your reservation, they would charge you ten um, bucks a person, ten dollars a person, and to me, that's almost like worth it. Okay, I'll eat the ten dollars. It's it's cheaper than eating there, and then I could leave the Magic Kingdom and just walk right to uh, Contemporary. I don't know if you're going to be able to do that now because they've not said anything about what the cancellation will be. Okay, in this article, so we don't know. I don't even if know if they're thinking that. about people that do that. They're, yeah, this is about. Um, people that i guess aren't as sneaky as us this is about people who <laughs> yeah, we're sneaky who would um everybody we've only done that like them. once yeah and most of the time but we people do, do go and eat and we'll eat at a place and then go to the park. well usually if, if if you go in the mornings they won't let you in to park because a lot of people are trying to avoid the parking fees usually in the afternoons a lot of the resorts will let you yeah, in later in the day later in the day yeah but this is kind of sad because like i said you even if you're on property now you cannot just go from resort to resort and look around. They're they're totally eliminating that. You have to have a reservation at the hotel. And if you want to go to another resort, you have to have another dinner reservation for dinner. So you could reserve something for lunch and then reserve a dinner, and that would be your only way of seeing well, two yeah. resorts at and, once. You know, I was watching Prince Charming Dev earlier this week, and he was talking about the DVCs opening up. Mm. And he is going to go to some of the resorts. And he said he had made his dining reservations. And I guess he was talking about this new policy. you know. And what a lot of people do, too, and this goes for a lot of the vloggers, what a lot of the vloggers do. Well, obviously, there is the monorail loop that a lot of people do. But yeah. a lot of people, oh, yeah. when they want to go in to, you know, the Animal Kingdom Lodge, for example, they'll go to Disney Springs, hop on a bus. And like you were saying, you won't be able to do that anymore. No. And, Without a reservation. You know, a lot of times, and we've done this, I'll take a bus to a resort we're not staying at because I want to look at it and say, well, maybe we want to stay there. I don't know. Let me go take a look and or see if we want to stay shopping. there. just to go shopping. I mean – Well, yeah. The the Animal Kingdom Resort, mm -hmm. is that lodge is – Beautiful. I mean, it's my we favorite. We stayed there. It was just gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. And that's – and so a lot of people will spend a day just resort hopping. Or – No more. Yeah, or at the Animal Kingdom – lodge we stayed um and we were in the main building we our room was like the first room off the main building it was great yeah we got very lucky and at night we went to the main room uh i think it's a jumbo house and it was cold we were there in january remember and they had a fireplace and, oh, yeah. and people were hanging around before you could just go in and drive up and go enjoy the fire you we we used to go to the um the uh, Wilderness Lodge all the time. We weren't staying there. Yeah, we never weren't even there. Ha we had dinner there once, but there were a lot of times we didn't have dinner, and we would just drive up and go in and go shopping and sit by the fire and yeah. and look at the tree and everything. You can't do that now. Yeah, the which only really the, the sucks. only when you resort hop, the only thing you can't do are use the pools, but you could still go to the different sure. resorts. Well, no more. And you can't go in guest rooms. Well, you know what's going on here. I'll, tell you, I'll tell you a lot of what's going on here. A lot of what is going on 
is Disney are using the the crisis that we're in to make a lot of changes that they've been wanting to make in, uh, for a long maybe, time maybe. about their entire system because they can do it. People are accepting of it right now. So I think a lot of these changes are things they may have wanted to do for a long time. Maybe. And they're testing some things and – I mean, I can't see things. how it's lucrative to keep people from park resorts mm -hmm. um, and to keep people from park hopping resort. Now, park hopping would be probably, I don't know, they probably make a lot of money off selling the park hopper tickets. So I oh, think yeah. they're going to revamp the fast pass system with this. I don't, I really haven't read too much about it. That might be something that they've been wanting to change and they're going to keep with it. But these changes I don't think are going to last past 2021 well, because it's yeah. going to cost them money for oh, yeah. people not be able oh, to yeah. resort hop, park hop, do these things. That's going to cost them a lot yeah, of money. And I, I mean, I, how much money the hotels generate when people go around and shop and eat. You know, I know a lot of people are saying, because I've seen a lot of people say this online, don't go to Disney World until next year. I'm not going to tell anybody what to do or what not to do, but I'll tell you this. Um, the, I'm going to get into the park the first day that we can get a reservation. My goal is to get there on opening day. Hopefully we'll be able to. Hopefully. Um, this will be a time to go to Walt Disney World, in my opinion, all the parks that you will never experience before. The parks have been closed down for months. This will probably never happen again. So it's as close to going to the opening day of Walt Disney World It'll as you'll ever get. It'll be a lot less crowds, too. And yeah, and the number one complaint that everyone has are the crowds. You will probably never again You'll get on every ride. experience crowds like this unless uh, you have some specialty ticket for, that costs a lot of money for some very special event with limited capacity. So I think it's a great opportunity and a great time to go to the parks. But I wouldn't – my advice, I would not – unless you are such a hardcore Disney fan, you can't stay away – I wouldn't fly or drive out of my way to come here. I mean, I, I agree the benefit of having less crowds, that is almost worth it alone. But you have to understand when you come, there's going to be a lot of changes, a lot of restrictions. Like if you reserve Magic Kingdom, you are going to, if you want to go to Hollywood Studios, you can't just hop on the bus and go now. You have to make a reservation. You cannot go to two parks in one and, day. And, and who's to it's say? It's going to be very different. And, and who knows if this new system is going to work on the first day or the first week. They probably, You know, like any other system, it may not work perfectly. But let's see how people comply or what happens. What's going to be interesting from a vlogger point of view is how this affects vloggers, especially vloggers that are local. We know a lot of people that live locally. They're used to going to the parks every day yeah. like I, michael k goes every day i mean he said that um tanya she goes almost every day so vloggers like that live streamers they're used to having access to the park whenever they want to go That's see right. something new it's going to be interesting to see how this plays out with the vloggers now disney might not have a problem with reservations that people might be able to get in whenever they want there might not be a lot of people booking so U it universal, might not be an issue universal hasn't had those issues no. but universal has never had the crowds that walt disney world has so it's not yeah. as so in we'll demand see. we'll see anyway thanks so much for listening guys and watching we just want to go through some of the stories with you if you haven't subscribed